Let's continue talking about stereotypes, prejudice, and discrimination, but this time let's focus on issues other than racism and sexism. In other words, let's focus on other targets. Racism and sexism do get a lot of research attention in social psychology, but there is bias and discrimination toward other people based on some other categories. Let's talk about some of those. One has to do with age. This picture would be an example of ageism in terms of the workplace. Younger people are coming in, older people are somewhat getting forced out. As people live longer, ageism is becoming a much hotter topic. It's interesting when you look at different cultures, they seem to value older people either more or less. In America, we really have a youth-oriented culture where older people are pretty much pushed to the side. But in many Asian cultures, just for example, they seem to value age and wisdom more, and they tend to value those people more and show them a little bit more respect. It's really kind of an interesting category as well because people who harbor some type of negative prejudicial attitude about older people are likely to be in that category later on in their own lives. So that's one thing that's kind of unique about age. Religion is another issue that puts people in a situation where they might experience bias and discrimination. It would be nice if we could all just coexist, but at least at this point, it doesn't look like we do very well. Ever since 9-11, of course, Americans have shown some bias and discrimination toward Muslims. And what I think is kind of interesting about this is, in general, we can't just look at someone and understand what their religious affiliation is. However, there are some religions that dress in particular ways, and that's often true of Islam. But if we are not able to tell who is of a particular religion and we really want to discriminate against that religion, um, human beings are very crafty. They might just force people to wear clothing to identify that particular religion. Of course, that exists in our history. People might bias and discriminate against people with physical disabilities. This is a sad example that's making its ways around the internet nowadays. This is a little boy. His name is Jameson. He has a variety of physical disabilities. His mother loves him, of course, since she blogs about him and she posted this picture. Well, some internet trolls stole that picture and they created a very mean meme about him. I decided to change the, the text of that meme and create my own. Of course, there's also bias and discrimination about people with mental health issues. We often like to make fun of that. There's no shortage of costumes, for example, regarding mental health patients. You can buy shirts at tourist locations that say something about being an escaped mental patient. I guess a lot of people find that funny. We need to challenge that. Of course, people are discriminated against based on a variety of other categories as well. For example, even just someone's political ideology. More so now, after a presidential election in which our country has shown to be they're really very divided. Some people are discriminated against even just based on marital status. From a social psychological perspective, it's interesting to see that some biases are more socially acceptable than others. So for example, I think I mentioned previously that when it comes to a person's weight and their sexuality, to some extent, it's still socially acceptable to make fun of and discriminate against these people. There are differences, though, when it comes to different groups within our culture. When it comes to acceptance of weight issues, black culture tends to be much more embracing of people of different shapes and sizes when, it, when that's compared to white culture. Sexuality, I mentioned that um, like when people who are gay are portrayed on TV, those characters are usually shown in a very overly stereotypical way. And then just in the real world, gay people are often harassed in public, particularly when they're acting as a couple, showing affection to each other. Many people continue to believe that homosexuality should be illegal. And of course, in some parts of the world, it is illegal. Feelings on that are changing, though. According to long-term polling data, when you look over the past 10 years or so even, there have been uh, quite a bit of changes. When people are asked, do you think marriage between same-sex couples 
should or should not be recognized by law as valid with the same rights as traditional marriage? When you ask people that question, you can see over the years, uh, many more people believe it should be seen as valid. So that's a step in the right direction when it comes to helping to eliminate bias and discrimination. All right, well, that's about it for this section, but stay tuned because there's more social psychology coming up soon. Thank you.